Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So as you can see by the title, this video is different to my usual. We are doing makeup today, but I'm actually also answering random questions about me. As I have a few new subscribers on my channel, I thought why not kind of get to know me a little bit better. So if you are new here, I will introduce myself. My name is Hannah, as you can see. I am a makeup artist, I'm 29 years old. I currently live in Cardiff, but I am from England and I love makeup, as you can see by this channel. So if you are new here, then you can get to know me a little bit better in this video and you can also watch me do my makeup. So I done my makeup today. It's not a tutorial, but I hope you like the look nonetheless. Um, so if you do wanna get to know me a bit more and kind of get ready with me, then just keep watching. So what I'm probably gonna do, because I'm gonna be talking a lot I'll just link everything in the description box below. Okay, so the first question is, where did you grow up? So I grew up in a small town called Andover, which is in Hampshire. Not many people know where it is, but if you are from England, then it's basically just down south. So second question, where do you currently live? So I currently live in South Wales. Okay, that wasn't a very good Welsh accent. Um, but I moved to Cardiff. When did I move to Cardiff? Bloody hell. I moved to Cardiff about seven years ago now. Madness. So I basically, so Josh um, moved to Cardiff about 10 years ago. And then I basically just transferred jobs when I worked at Mac at the time. And I was like, I'm only going to move there for just one year because I thought I want to be at home. I'll just try out Cardiff for a year. And here I am seven years later. <laughs> I mean, I already kind of knew it because I used to visit Josh quite a lot. So I knew a lot of the people um, here already. So it wasn't too daunting. And then, yeah. That was it really, and now we're buying our second house here. Um, anyways, right, let's go on to the third question and also moving on to concealer. So the third question is, how tall are you? So if you know me, you probably know this question, you know the answer to this. Um, I don't know if I look short in my videos. Before I answer, how tall do you reckon I am? Comment down below what, how tall you think I am. But I am, a teeny tiny four for 11 and I don't actually meet many people who are as short as me I met one girl who was four foot nine in the club in the club in the club once and we literally walked past each other and I was like oh. and she looked at me and she was like oh. and we were like had this instant bond um, so I'm just gonna move on to cream bronzer. So the next question is funniest moment throughout secondary school. This one is really hard because like, I can't put my finger on like a specific moment. I feel like there's so many funny memories from secondary school. I suppose the one good thing to come out of, out of secondary school is the fact that I am still friends with all of those friends now so we have been friends for years I've, I've literally lost count is it like 17 17 years maybe so yeah I think that is one of the best things to come out um so like my big like the girl and boy friendship group we all went to school together and then my best friends like my best girl group we are all still friends and oh, i just remember like you know those typical like girl sleepovers just going around each other's houses watching scary films like that was our, i feel like that was our thing we loved watching scary films i remember oh this is actually quite a funny one is me and my best friend alicia so we hello alicia if you're watching don't know if you are but hope you are um so we both liked the same boy lol and he was actually going out with our other best friend oh my god this is how weird it was you know when you're from a small town you end up going out with the same boys um but we all liked the same boy okay so anyways he was obviously 
we wanted him i mean was he going to be with both of us no so i don't know what we thought was going to happen but we basically knew that they were meeting up so we went and spied on them and literally hid like behind a bush and i remember he like came out and we were literally like spying on him i don't even know if she caught us i don't know so i'm just gonna move on to blusher now i'm gonna start to power through these questions because i feel like it's gonna be a long one okay so what year were you born i was born in 1993 i am a 90s baby okay right let's just bang them out hannah you're just rambling okay tea or coffee i am a tea drinker I can't drink coffee, it gives me a dodgy stomach. Right, next one. Have any books you read changed your life? I like that question, that's good. Okay, so I'm on a book kind of obsession at the moment. I never really used to read, I was never a reader growing up. But now that I'm a bit older, I've really gotten into kind of like self-help self books. So I wouldn't necessarily say like they've completely changed my life, but a combination of them all has definitely changed my mindset um, positively. And yeah, I'm kind of just on a journey on kind of trying to better my mental health and just better my life in general, really. I could do a completely separate video about it. So if you want me to, then give this video a like. Uh, I'm just setting my face up now with the Jaclyn Hill powder. So the next question is, what is your favorite movie? Oh my God. So that's not a nice question. <laughs> How do I choose my favorite movie? I have like a favorite kind of type of movie. Um, I'm definitely like, I love a chick flick. I love a rom-com. I've been thinking for so long now and I really can't think of one specifically but I will list like a few that I will always re-watch so okay let's go so The Holiday, Pretty Woman, Wild Child, Serendipity, um god worlds um like stepmom i love that film um yeah films like that you get the gist i'm a chick flick kind of girl um but i also really love like thrillers or like mystery so like shutter island kind of films like that as well <clears throat> i'm not an action kind of girl i'm sorry but nah sorry and also marvel you won't catch me watching Marvel. Just popping on some powder blush. Are you single or taken? <laughs> I'm taken, honey. I'm actually married. This blush is quite nice, actually. Would you look at that? Next, what is your idea of a dream date? Do you know what? I love a good view, as in like a great skyline. You know, if you're in like, a really built up city i would just i don't know why i'm just amazed by views i like say for example it was like a sea view um just that kind of thing like i just i don't know or like next to the sea you know and you can like hear the water how long was your longest relationship well i'm currently in it right now um i am still in my longest relationship i think I think I've been with Josh like 13 years now, I think. So the next one is your most memorable childhood memory. So again, like the same with the school one, I don't have like specific memory. Like is my memory just really bad? But I feel like I can remember like certain times that would like happen like quite a lot. So I, I, I mostly remember going on holiday as a family and i always remember because like my brothers and my sister is a little bit older than me by so by the time i was like old enough to like remember i feel like they were already like 18 and like kind of going on about their own life so it is hard for me to remember so when it was like all of us together as a family I feel like those were the best time when it was all of us like on holiday because I've got two brothers and one sister so I feel like going on holiday with your brother and sisters there's just like nothing like it and I feel like you really take 
um, it for granted when you're y younger. You would do that in a heartbeat now, but it's so hard to do when like you've got your own life, your own family. So yeah, I'll probably say holidays, family holidays. Also visiting my grandma as well as a family. That's something that we always used to do as a family because she lived quite far. Well, not far, but she lived in Essex. We lived in Andover, so it's a little bit of a drive. Who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> And easy Harry Styles obviously but you know what I've got a new celebrity crush and it's Killian Murphy I I have no words do you know what when he's like not in the Peaky Blinders I'm like mm -hmm. wow it's Tommy I just, I like does anyone else see it I can't cope with the everything the hat the suit the attitude although I don't know if I could go out of him though because you know he's gonna be dead soon I'm just gonna pop on some lashes these are the tatty lashes natural um they're kind of like three they're not individual but they are like clusters of three okay last few questions um do you have any siblings yes as I said I've got two older brothers and one older sister what social media are you addicted to? Oh god, I mean that's an obvious one. Probably TikTok. I spend the most time on there, but I do will always love YouTube. But YouTube is still kind of posted like they used to, then I would still be addicted, but um which moves me on to my next question. Favourite YouTubers? Um I don't actually have that many. I used to love Jacqueline Hill, but she she does post, but I really used to enjoy her makeup tutorials and she doesn't really post them anymore, which is really sad. I mean, she did the other day, but that was like the first one in a while. Biggest struggle you overcame. Oh, that was a deep one. Um, overcoming not comparing myself to others on social media. I feel like I'm still going through that struggle. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I could make a whole video about about that kind of thing and kind of just coming well yeah i suppose it's just um overcoming self-doubt and you know, self-love all that kind of thing maybe final few now who is your role model oh that is a hard one do you know what i don't know i found that a really hard one if it was a personal role model i don't know if this is really cliche but i do I look up to my dad a lot, more so because of his work ethic and how hard he worked when I was growing up. Um, he was a really successful businessman, he's retired now. What was on my bucket list? Oh, good one. Um, uh, in terms of places to travel, I really want to travel to China or Japan, somewhere over that side <laughs> live anywhere where would it be i really like living in the uk just because i love all seasons um what does the last text message you received say <laughs> if you know me if you know me then you know i'm not very good at texting back but the last person weirdly who just texts me say sorry who's this you just called me my phone's broken no they just called me don't you hate that weirdos i didn't call you you called me mate anyway sorry <laughs> so that is the video finish guys i really hope you enjoyed it i hope you like the makeup look as well i know it wasn't about the makeup but none nonetheless i hope you like it if you want to see more videos like this then please let me know i hope you got to know me a little bit better it kind of just went really quickly and all it's a blur to be honest but hopefully it's not too long or too boring thank you again for watching and you'll see me in my next one bye